Hey guys, Angelo here. Uh, just siding in my bow with my uh, True Glow sights. That's the adjustable one, uh, single pin. Uh, our target is going to be at. That's approximately around. Probably around 10, 11 yards from from there to there. Uh, I haven't shot this bow for uh, for about a year now uh, since the last hunting season so I'm gonna be tuning it in uh, we're gonna be shooting uh, three shot group then uh, we'll make our adjustments okay let me go set it up I'll be back that's our target right there we're gonna be shooting at the one in the bottom right corner uh, usually I'll I'll, uh, I'll sight in my bow at around 20 yards uh, 15 to 20 yards less than uh, going up to uh, 75 yards but this is the available yardage right now we're just gonna practice uh, drawing and uh, we're gonna see the sight alignment if it change all right let me go uh, make a three shot group I'll be back okay uh, one thing that's important if you're using a, a drop-in uh, arrow rest make sure your uh, make sure your flesh is uh, is it's going up as you can see right there instead of going down if you're using a biscuit type of press and okay let's do our three shot group all right that's our first uh, first shot group uh, I'm shooting kind of loose right now but uh, it looks like the side alignment is pretty good it's just uh, no matter of uh, uh, me doing a back release or uh, and uh, keeping my hand still when I'm uh, releasing the releasing the bolt, uh, the arrow. Okay. Just take that off. And the release that I'm using is actually uh, this is uh, made by uh, my true ball by true ball. Uh, this uh, a lot of target people would actually use this this type of release uh, hair trigger and you can use it for hunting also you just need a really steady hand if you're gonna shoot this because it's uh, it's really sensitive and as you can see it's kind of windy right now you could probably hear that bell ringing so all right let's make another uh, three shot group and uh, let's see what happens hopefully it'll tighten up to this uh, to this uh, X mark right there all right I'll be right back Oh, one thing uh, really important, uh, if you're going to set in your bow, make sure you use all uh, same arrows with same weight tips and same, uh, same length also. Because uh, if, if you have a different weight arrows and, uh, and different uh, weight tips, that's going to change your point of impact. So it's really important. And I only shoot three, uh, three shot groups uh, so that I could determine uh, where am I hitting and uh, how am I holding my bow okay all right uh, this is gonna be the second round okay uh, the grouping is actually uh, getting tighter and tighter as you can see with this two group right here and this one is a flyer this one I'll, I will consider this thing as a flyer because on a usual uh, usual day if I'm getting a lot of practice, I, I would probably put this on uh, on a one hole like uh, right there. So I don't blame the arrow or the bow. I actually blame my, myself because I'm uh, the way I'm uh, the way I'm holding uh, and locking up my uh, my bow right now. It's not uh, really consistent, so I gotta make the adjustment. But as far as side adjustment, I think the side adjustment is still good. So uh, we'll make another group. Usually in a day, I'll shoot. A round of 10 but on this we're probably going to do only five so we're still going to be shooting on this area right here then we're probably going to move up move up move up let's see how the grouping goes all right i'll be right back okay another important thing when you're shooting a bow uh make sure to practice shooting uh with uh, two eyes open uh don't uh, don't pick and uh and if you got a bow, if you're buying a bow, make sure uh, to uh, to have to uh, to have those guys which uh, which is the store that you're buying a bow. Uh, you know, check the length of pull and uh, determine 
which uh, which eye is your uh, dominant eye and you could probably do that by yourself and I'll show it to you to you guys later how to do it yourself you know that to make your uh, to determine which uh, which eye is your dominant eye that's really important when you're shooting a bow all right this is the third round all right guys uh, this is gonna be the third uh, the third group so uh, the point of impact I uh, changed a little bit as you can see I, I'm, uh, I am shooting uh, a little bit on the right uh, I think it's my anchor but so far our grouping is pretty good so I'll make a I'll shoot another group and see if it's gonna group uh, the same way and it's gonna hit that that side of the target again if it does then I'm, I'm gonna start making the side adjustment all right uh, if you're not uh, if you're not a bow guy so I don't know if you're gonna appreciate this so just stay tuned all right I'll be right back for group oh all right this is the fourth group shot uh, if you're not familiar with shooting a bow and you hit that mark right there and you have your grouping right here this is actually not good that's actually a flyer I don't know if, if that's the fletching but yeah I wouldn't consider this shot a really good shot I want it to be right here because I'm not changing my uh, the way I'm aiming and the way I'm uh, I'm uh, holding my uh, my anchor my anchor point if you're not familiar with the anchor point uh, your anchor point is actually where you put your uh, where you put your hands when you're uh, drawing the bow. Uh, hopefully, you, can, you guys can see this. This is the way I hold my anchor point. Uh, it's right there on the cheekbone. That's the reason why I use this anchor point so that it's always consistent. Whenever wherever I put my knuckle, it's always going to be in the same spot. And that's really important when you're shooting a bow. Uh, that's gonna make you consistent. Okay. Unlike this type of release right here, a lot of uh, hunters actually use this kind of release. It uh, for them it's safer because you could lock the release out. Unlike this release right here, which is actually always open. So it takes a lot. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to use this type of release. But once you're once you're uh, once you're familiar with this type of release already, it'll give you an always consistent anchor point. So that's really important. Okay? Okay, I'll be right back. Let's, uh, let's do another shot of three, then uh, let's see what happens. Alright, the arrows that I use for, uh, for practicing are these ones. Uh, this is uh, STXL. Uh, I think that's a 400 grain and a 100 grain uh, tip. Uh, the ones for competitions, I uh, actually don't have it uh, with me right now, but usually I'll number my, ar uh, my arrows Because different arrows would have different point of impact if, uh, if you get consistent enough then uh, Then you'll have that uh, you'll know where your arrows actually gonna gonna hit or miss uh, Some types of arrows they, they behave differently like this one's right here the carbon XL That's the same weight, but this actually have a little bit more flex on it. It's uh, it's actually a carbon uh, carbon arrow, but it'll still flex. So this would have a different part of impact than uh, than these three. Okay. All right. Uh, set of four. Okay. Uh, I just shot a set of four. Uh, set of three. Uh, this is the fourth try. Uh, if you're wondering uh, what kind of uh, stabilizer is that, that's actually a fuse stabilizer. It's a uh, it, it stabilizes your bow and uh, it reduces the vibration. Okay, and that's uh, the release is actually made by ripcord. There you go. All right, let's look at our uh, our, our uh, fork group. See what see how it looks like. Uh, my shot has been uh, improving now, so. It takes a lot of practice to uh, to get a shot group uh, for hunting. That one I would take it. 
that's actually a pretty good group uh, I don't know why this uh, why this arrow right here keeps on fishtailing so I'm gonna have this thing fixed because this this arrow is actually starting to uh, fishtail on me that was actually caused by another arrow hitting the fletch that's why I have that rip so on a bullseye match that's not gonna work for me because every uh, everything actually counts on a on a bullseye match so okay our last try oh guys as you can see the rubber on the the rubber on my uh, my peep set actually broke so that's that's just getting old what what I usually uh, use to uh, so that it won't uh, it won't crack like that I'll put a little bit of oil or Vaseline on it that's gonna preserve the rubber a little bit so let me uh, fix this thing a little bit because on when you're using a peep especially this one right here that this would usually creep down on you and to have it consistent make sure to to always have it where you're always shooting it if it's all the way up then always shoot all the way up the way you sighted it in and if you're shooting all the way down then always shoot it all the way down so the way I should I, I actually have it all the way up uh, I don't know why but that's that's creeping down on me so I'll fix the rubber then uh, I'll make our last uh, shot group all right all right this is gonna be the fifth uh, grouping it's kind of windy right now as you can see the arrows are actually pointing uh, pointing up a little bit so uh, this is our group again these two arrows are together this is the one with the these are the ones with the with the what do you call that not a broken fletching as you can see the one with the broken fletching this motherfucker uh, fish tailed on me again so I'm gonna have this thing repaired okay oh uh, some pointers when you're shooting uh, your bow uh, there's actually three number one is uh, anchor point next one is gonna be your breeding uh, make sure to control your breeding and uh, uh, the third one is gonna be your uh, what's the third one see I said anchor point breeding the last one would be your uh, follow through Follow through is uh, right right after when you release your uh, your uh, your string or your arrow. Make sure you you follow through on your target. Don't don't bring down your bow or don't uh, the way you grip your bow. Don't grip it too hard. Because when if you grip it too hard, a little bit of torque on your bow would actually put your arrows all the way either to the right or to the left. So if you're shooting a little bit to the right every single time and you and you know your uh, your uh, your bow is actually side in then it's gonna be the way you're you're gripping your bow because sometimes you're torquing it the way, I'm, the way I hold it I hold it with the three fingers because once you close this finger out that's gonna that's gonna torque your bow a little bit when you release your bow so that's really important too all right uh, thank you for your patience and uh, if you guys have any questions let me know uh, comment right here at the bottom and uh, either PM me if you have some questions with my bow that's a 2006 uh, Bowtech uh, Tribute okay and uh, the pull weight on that is uh, 60 uh, 60 pounds full uh, pull weight that's enough for me but some people would do 75 but that's gonna be really uncontrollable for me so any questions just uh, comment or uh, PM me alright thank you for watching Mr. Two First here, signing up. Bye-bye.